Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a new feature, or I guess you could call it an in-game mechanic that's going to be in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and that is the Bivouac, also known as your base camp that you're going to be setting up at multiple locations in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and this is going to be a huge feature in the game itself. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right into the information. So I'm actually pulling this from a Ubisoft blog post, so I will link that down in the description below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. So it says, however you decide to tackle an objective, you'll need to make sure you properly prepared beforehand. And that is where the bivouac comes in. The bivouac is actually a temporary base camp where you can change your class, customize your loadout, heal your injuries and craft supplies like rations and bandages that you can share among squad mates. So real quick, before we continue, you guys notice there, there are some new items that we're going to be crafting and using in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which is rations, bandages. And I actually covered it in my video the other day, talking about the injury and stamina system. System, how you're going to need to use those things as well as syringes and water so you're actually gonna have to find and craft rations water stuff like that you're gonna have to gather water at this bivouac location because this is things that you're gonna be needing in the game itself so we're gonna kind of talk a little bit more about that here in a second so additionally you can gather food plants and water throughout Aroa that can give you a temporary gameplay buff if you eat or drink them at the bivouac before tackling a mission. So that's going to be a new mechanic there. If you actually go to the bivouac, kind of get set up for a mission, consume some rations and water and stuff like that before you actually tackle a mission, it's going to give you a slight buff to probably your stamina. Maybe it will also lower your chance of actually being injured by maybe falling or bullets or something like that. I'm not sure, but you're obviously going to get a buff to your stamina. So finding those resources through hunting and water collection will be imperative to making sure that you are as prepared as possible for any fight. And also the bivouac will allow you to break camp under the time of day and weather conditions of your choice. So you can sneak into an enemy base under the cover of darkness and rain or go in guns blazing underneath clear blue skies. So this is one of the things that was kind of based around the community feedback for Ghost Recon Wildlands was being the fact that you are now allowed to actually change the time of day. And they took it one step further in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, allowing you to choose your weather conditions as well to kind of go on your missions exactly how you want. And this kind of stems a little bit from the photo mode as well from Ghost Recon Wildlands because in there you could definitely set the time of day, weather conditions, and all sorts of different features in that. And now with the bivouac, you're actually going to be able to set all of those settings before you actually go into a mission, which is really, really cool. And then also with all of this information, the bivouac is going to actually act as your fast travel point, similar to the rally points in Ghost Recon Wildlands. But the catch and break point is, is you're going to need to manually go around and set up these bivouac base camps to utilize their features. So it's just like, for instance, in Ghost Recon Wildlands, once you discovered a fast travel point, it was pretty much just there for you. In Breakpoint, you're gonna have to go to specific areas on the map, which you're actually gonna be able to spot thanks to a chimney of smoke that's gonna sort of mark these areas. You're gonna have to set up your bivouac to actually utilize the fast travel service. But for the most part, this is some awesome news because honestly, this kind of gives you a look into the real military feel of, you know, setting up a base camp, healing your wounds, consuming, you know, some food, water, rations, stuff like that, setting up a class, setting up your loadout and everything before you go into a mission. And if you do all that properly, you're going to get a semi buff going into those missions that might help you in the long run, whether or not you're going to fail or complete that mission. So overall, that's pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown on how the bivouac is going to work and really what it is in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Me personally, I'm really excited about this feature because it kind of gives you a little bit of that survival feel being the fact that you kind of set up a base camp, you gather food rations, you gather plants and stuff like that, you gather water that's going to be stored at this base camp that you're going to need to use and utilize in your quest to take down the wolf faction in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. But like I said, that's pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys are excited about this new base camp bivouac feature that's going to be in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on everything Ghost Recon Breakpoint moving forward. I kind of covered this in a couple other videos, but over 75% of you guys that are watching my videos are not actually subscribed to the channel. So if you guys have enjoyed the content, you want to stay up to date with everything Ghost Recon Breakpoint, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys do not miss any of my uploads moving forward. But like I said, that's all for the video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.